Hello, Virgo. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for March 21st through the 27th. It's really good to be back, and I hope you're doing well, Virgo. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. Just a reminder, Virgo, these are general readings, not one-on-one -on -one readings. Some information may not resonate with you. And keep in mind that your sun sign is a broad picture for your entire life, whereas your rising sign has more to do with your day-to-day -day journey and interaction with others. So you might benefit from checking out your rising sign reading as well. So let's get into your reading. First card. Major Arcana card, The Hanged Man. Next, Major Arcana card, The Devil. And Major Arcana card, The Hermit. Wow, Virgo. And Major Arcana card, Death. All right, Virgo. The energy that I'm picking up for this week, Virgo, is you are on a mission. There's a very passionate energy where you're going to be involved in something particular, something that you're realizing you're being called to, and it's in regards to others around you. You're going to be a great influencer in some capacity. So tremendous change and transformation for the week ahead, Virgo. Now, first, I'm going to mention this. In a smaller reading, this is not like a traditional Niner card spread, which makes this all the more important that you have four major Arcana cards show up. This is an indication, major life event. So this is bringing in drastic change, or it could mean, Virgo, the need for drastic change. So very significant, since this is a smaller spread and it's showing up. Very intense energy. Your first card, the hangman, this is actually one of my favorites. As it's an indication to look at things differently. Maybe you're going to be going down a different path. There's usually some kind of sacrifice when the Hanged Man card shows up. And as we see on the card here, it says Angel of Prophecy. This is almost like forcing yourself or there might be some kind of influence where you're bringing yourself to this point. This is the angel of prophecy and the message of seeing your situation, your life from another angle. This number 12 reduces down to three. That's the angel of abundance. So this is like a great realization this week. Something is going to give you mental clarity, putting you in a new direction. Certainly could be in addition to what you're currently doing, or it could be severely changing your day-to-day -day activities. Now, for some Virgos, this could be like moving to a different area. This could be changing jobs. This could be eliminating a relationship. You're seeing something this week from a different point of view, a fresh pair of eyes, a different perspective. And you're tapped into your inner guiding voice. So your intuition, your third eye chakra is just glowing this week, Virgo. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Hanged Man. Okay, if we could get it to focus. The Chariot. A new path. And as you can see, one of the Sphinx has stopped. This is where you get on this week, Virgo. You're being called to your life purpose, you might say. Next, the devil card. Now it does say the angel of freedom. 
And the devil card in this deck is more about realizing what has been holding you back, restricting you, maybe putting limits in what you want to do. This is the angel of freedom showing up. You're seeing the truth. You have the power now to change your situation at any time. So this could certainly be in many different areas. This is a general reading, but this could certainly be in regards to your job, your career. Maybe you have a boss who is just absolutely horrible, very arrogant, very demanding. For some Virgos, it might be in regards to relationships. Could be a relationship that is actually leading nowhere. There could be something that maybe you made an agreement with someone, maybe an ex-partner that you need to eliminate. This can also be an addiction or something that you do that's not good for your health and well-being. So there is an energy here with this card where it keeps you in this locked cycle of frustration, restriction. But the angel of freedom is coming to your aid, helping you to release old patterns, free up your energy. Now, the devil card always depicts like you have no choice, but you do. You always have the choice to change. But Virgo, this week, there's this huge energy here of you realizing what your calling is in this lifetime. So let's pull a clarifying card for the devil card. See if we get any other information. Okay, and we have the king of cups. Well, that's certainly an indication that you need to take your emotions out of your thought process. Whatever it is you're going to be letting go, it actually could be something that you're addicted to that's not good for your health and well-being, and that needs to go. As you're really being called here for a different purpose, and you have to free up your body, your energy to give yourself to that cause. Next card, the Hermit. Angel of reflection. And that's precisely what it is. Giving some thought to what's coming to you this week. It might be getting out of a bad relationship. It might be moving out of a place you're unhappy with. Maybe selling a house. Moving to a new area. There's something provoking this drastic change this week. Now, for some Virgos, you're not going to resonate with this because you're not realizing what needs to change. But your cards here are all indicating drastic change is coming in. It's needed. It might be forced upon you. Now, the angel of reflection is about creating a space to learn more about yourself and your spiritual path. It's coming to terms to make the most of the situation, even if it wasn't your choice. And in turn, you're going to learn something very valuable. So the Hermit card is about spending some time alone, meditation, relaxing, exploring the spiritual side of yourself. And for some Virgos, the Hermit card can show up representing you're going to be single again after some kind of union or partnership ends. This could be personal, loving, family, or business partnership because you are needing to follow your own path, which could be time away from friends and family. That's part of this spiritual life purpose, this calling that you could be feeling this week. So you need some peace and quiet to have your own space to think and see how this hermit card, this energy, he's shining the light on your other major arcana cards, looking at things differently and letting go of what's holding you back. So all the cards are interconnected. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Hermit. See if we get additional information here. And we've got the Knight of Swords. Definitely the energy I'm picking up in the beginning as you are on a mission this week, Virgo. There is a passion, a calling that's going to rise up this week and you are needed elsewhere for a specific life purpose to help others. The realization seems to be coming in this week 
and drastic change is coming in or needed. Okay, your last card here, Virgo. It's kind of like your overall energy. It can be an outcome card at times. And you have the major arcana card, death. Angel of transformation. Not to worry. This is not in regards to physical death. This is actually, actually I both feel it is your overall energy this week as you're going through a huge transformation but it also serves as an outcome card now the angel of a transformation's message is to allow life to take its course virgo embrace the change as there's new beginnings coming your way angel of death does represent some kind of end and there is an end to your current phase or current cycle of life but you need to let go of in regards to what's no longer right for you, Virgo. And the universe intervenes sometimes, makes a choice if we can't make it for ourselves. So with this like strong combination of major arcana cards indicating drastic change, something is going to force this change upon you, Virgo, if you don't embrace it. This is a transition into a new phase for you, Virgo. You have a new purpose. There's a new calling you could possibly be feeling because there's an ending of the old way of how you were moving, how you were living, and you're moving into this new energy, this new life purpose because you're being called, because you're needed elsewhere, Virgo. So this angel of transformation clears out the old to prepare for the new. Another indication, some of you are going to feel like clearing out the clutter in your home environment, possibly even your work environment. You might get this overwhelming feeling to give things away, clear out things. It's kind of a cleansing, decluttering, getting rid of things that no longer serve a purpose to you. Definitely going through some form of transformation, drastic change this week, Virgo. It's either going to happen to you, you're either going to be making it happen, or it's going to be forced upon you. Your oracle message, flower spirit. This kind of ties into what your life purpose is going to be, as this little fairy listens with all her heart to her friends, people around her, provides a very soothing caress, a very calm energy. So she is an inspiration to those around her. And that's part of your calling and your change that's coming in. You're needed elsewhere for a different purpose, Virgo. Your crystal for the week, rubellite. And it says here, passion and purpose. And the card reads, your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. So this is in regards to the energy I'm picking up that you have a calling to your life purpose. And maybe you were not aware of it at all previously. This is certainly a sign of feeling passionate about a new project. Something new is coming in. There's, some, there's change. Something is ending. Something is trying to emerge. This will be some kind of calling to help others. And it's really going to motivate you to devote time to this pursuit. Even if you're not yet sure what this is, how you're going to do it, you've got a surety, like a certainty, that this is your path. This could be the need to speak up. This could be some kind of charity. This could be getting on social media in regards to certain issues or causes. But originally... I was picking up, you're going to be an influencer. So this is the time now to research, maybe taking classes, networking, interviewing, talking to people you respect in regards to this cause or this life purpose, as definitely this is a passion waking up, a passion for life, including your life purpose. And last here, 
I'm going to pull an angel wishes card for you, Virgo. So let's see what you get. This is final message for your reading. Remember your angels are always there to guide you. So in other words, Virgo, you are never alone on this new path, this new life purpose. Well, there you have it, Virgo. That was your messages and guidance from spirit from the cards that you received this week. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And for a private tarot card reading one-on-one, -on -one, the links are listed below to my website. Love and abundance to my Virgo family.